Hey Leo, so Mariah here. I'm gonna go ahead and get into your mid-month May love reading. So this will go from mid of, <laughs> I can't even speak, the middle of the month all the way down to the end of the month, right? So, just like Virgo, I'm energetically getting the need to pull for my epiphany cards to start off your reading. And then from there, we'll have the tarot clarify and break things down a little bit further. I'm just letting spirit talk to me and talk to you through me. And we're just going to see what comes out for you. Okay, what's, what's going on, my Leo's mid -month. May I have one card, spirit? Just one card only. Thank you kindly. One card only for my Leo's. Thank you. going on for my leo spirit wait okay way too many somebody likes cereal i, I heard apple jacks i'm not a cereal person at all but somebody likes cereal here and i don't know why i'm getting that message but random recipro this literally keeps coming out reciprocity when i did my all signs reading that card kept coming out for like so many signs so you're wanting a give and take. You're wanting something to be equal. You're wanting something to be fair. You're wanting something to be balanced, right? You're wanting balance, Leo. That's all you ask for. And Leo's, you're a very giving sign. You know, you're very giving, very. You put your neck out on the line for the ones you love. So there's a feeling of some things not giving to you in the way you are giving to it. And that's not okay. So let's see, why is reciprocity here for my Leos? It says reciprocity adjustments are being made. So either somebody's getting their act together. Ooh, crap. Either somebody's getting their act together or maybe not. We have the magician here in verse. Somebody knows they need to get their act together, but are they? Will they? Do they even care to? Let's see. May I have another card? Thank you. Maybe. Maybe. I just don't like that the magician is the first card out because the intention behind it is not really pure, right? When I see the ma magician in reverse at times, it's more of a sense of manifesting from a, a selfish place, right? Manifesting in the sense of, okay, what, what can I get out of this? How is this going to benefit me? We got the uh, six of wands, all right. I'm, I'm feeling like that's your energy. Definitely. Okay. Thank you. I'm definitely feeling like that's your energy. So let's start with our starting five. If you guys, let me bring these down a little bit for you. Bottom of the deck. How ironic. The devil in reverse. Yeah. This person definitely was not giving to you, Leo. This person was definitely selfish in the connection, only creating what they wanted out of the connection just for their own benefit, right? So only giving into it up to a certain degree just so they can get what they wanted from you. Devil in reverse, because at one point this devil was in the upright, right? And the devil, as we all know, can represent toxicity in whatever form that may look like. But in this, it looks like bad behavior. And it also looks like somebody is reminiscing over the behavior and their actions within this connection with that Four of Cups. Wishing that they didn't behave certain ways. Wishing that they would have gave, right? Five of Cups in reverse. The realization of how they treated you, but also the realization more so of what they're now losing out on or what they have lost out on because of their actions and behaviors with this magician in reverse. This person was playing games with you. I mean, just... Straight, and straight to the point, Leo. I can't sugarcoat it any other way. This person was playing games with you. Mani manifesting against the connection and not for the connection. See, but the thing, <laughs> the thing here, uh, Leo, see, you're in the Six of Wands energy. This card for me just energetically has a dual meaning, not only for you, but for your person. You're looking good. You're victorious. You're going after what you want. Yeah, it does suck. Three of Swords. Yeah, you were heartbroken. Yeah, it really does suck because, I mean, Leo actually rules the heart. Leo rules the, I believe Leo rules the heart. Don't <laughs> fact check me on that one, okay? But it doesn't matter. I know Leo's heart 
is 10 times the size of their bodies. When they love somebody, when they care for somebody, and when they consider somebody as family, their loyalty is unwavering, which is represented by the lion here. But this person hurt you. But also, too, on the flip side of this, this person sees you looking good. This person sees you being victorious despite what they did, despite not giving to you in the way that you wanted, despite manifesting against this connection and only manifesting for their own benefit and not for the benefit of the connection, right? Three of Swords here. Now they realize what they lost out on. So let's clarify, why is the Three of Swords here? Six of Swords in reverse. Yeah, they realize what they lost and they want you back. They definitely want you back. But I'm also hearing they would like to reverse what happened, reverse the pain. If they could, they would want to. Reciprocity. Now, are they now considering wanting to give to the connection in the way that they should have gave to the connection initially? Why is the magician here in reverse? Why is the magician here in reverse, spirit? Thank you. Uh, oh, oh, okay, Leo. Now we want to talk about feelings. Ace of Cups. Now we want to talk about feelings. After you already cut this person out, I feel like a lot of you were the ones to cut this person out. Now, if this person tried to play games with you, mind games with you, try to trick you, and they cut you out, your boundaries are on gridlock. You're not playing with this person. There's no, nope, mm-mm, nope, not playing. And even underneath this Queen of Swords, we have the Five of Wands in reverse. So this person could have had you in competition. This person could have, you know, been giving to other situations instead of you. Again, manifesting against this connection, manifesting selfishly, creating what he wanted out of this or she, it can be vice versa, him or her, but creating what they wanted out of this connection instead of what's for the betterment or the benefit of the connection for both. This person was very selfish in their actions. And they intentionally, keyword intentionally, behave that way. And now you're on guard, you, no, this is a no, 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 we don't do that. But now this person is realizing, Ace of Cups, I want a new beginning with Leo. I actually wanna give to Leo with reciprocity. I actually wanna have a give and take, I actually wanna pour my emotions out, I actually wanna have an emotional connection with Leo. A genuine, keyword again, a genuine emotional connection with Leo. I don't feel like this person was genuine with you at all. And I don't care how genuine they made it seem. This person had motives here with you, Leo. So let's see, why is the Five of Cups in reverse, Spirit? Oh, now this person, who reading was kind of like this? Virgo's reading was similar to this. So you may have Virgo in your chart, or you may be a Leo Virgo cusper. If you are, check out the Virgo reading, because it's, it's pretty similar so far. Um, or you could have been dealing with the Virgo, and you may want to cross, cross watch that. Why is the Five of Cups here? Thank you. Ace of Swords, because they know they was lying to you. They know they didn't tell you the truth. They know that they kept you in a state of confusion. They know that they didn't give you much clarity. They weren't honest. They may have been lying by omission, telling you certain things, but not telling you the full story of things when you might have asked questions or was trying to figure out what the heck was going on. And Leos are pretty direct, unless you have like maybe a Libra Mars or something like that. Um, unless you have placements in your chart that makes you more passive. If you don't, oh, Leo's is very direct. You're not, Leo's don't play games. You know what you want. So the fact that this person had the audacity, <laughs> the audacity, I feel here, to lie and to play games, now they're sulking in what they did. They are trying to come out of that, but even in the state of trying to come out of that and wanting to create something new, there's still these lies here. And I don't feel like they were addressed. And honestly, Leo, not to say that you don't care because I do feel like you wanted honest answers, which I don't feel like you got out of this person. You're still moving on. You're still looking good with the uh, Six of Wands here. So let's clarify that. Why is the Six Okay. Three. <laughs> when I say you looking good, Leo. Mm. I don't know why I heard Sugar Daddy. One of y'all got a Sugar Daddy or Sugar Mama? <laughs> I literally just heard the word Sugar Daddy. One of y'all got a Sugar Daddy, Sugar Mama. Okay, and I ain't judging. Go ahead and get your coin, okay? Do what you gotta do. Never any judgment with me. But three of cups, 
Yeah, you're looking good. You're looking good. Whether you're on social media, online, people are noticing you. You're getting praise. Whether it's from work, whether it's from friends, whether, again, it's online. You're out and about. You're having fun. You're enjoying yourself. You really don't want to focus. I'm going to be honest. You really don't want to focus on this. And I feel like because you're so much in your element of just trying to move on and look good and enjoy your life, I feel like for a good portion of you, some of you may be watching just out of curiosity to see what's going on or like, well, where are they now? How are they feeling? What's, you know, just out of curiosity. But I feel like for a good portion of you, you're moving on or have moved on and you're just looking for bigger and better to conquer the next thing. You're hanging out with friends, your girlfriends, your guy friends. You're seeing what else is out there. You may be dating right now. Some of you are even having success in dating with that three of cups. But yeah, um, Leo, you're just doing the damn thing. You're looking good. Why is this four of cups here for my Leos? And now this, okay, way too many, way too many, way too many. Why is this four of cups here? And now this person want to come back but you know what i still don't like that that magician energy is in reverse because how true is this person intent and i feel like leo you've learned your lessons with this person you really have learned your lessons with this person see but this person wants to really work on this now we have the eight of pentacles right putting in the hard work wanting to put in the effort wanting to put in the dedication we have temperance in reverse clarifying the four of cups i know temperance can talk about a lack of patience but um a lot of a lot of readers don't talk about the other meaning of temperance, which can talk about an all or nothing type of attitude or an all or nothing type of energy because of that lack of patience. So this person feel, is feeling like I missed out on Leo. I did mistreat Leo. I didn't give to the connection in the way that I should. At this point, it's either all or nothing. You know, I see Leo looking good, doing their thing. He or she is out and about dating. They may even see you have a new, you know, hookup or a new connection or a new relationship online i feel like whatever you're doing though it's casual i don't feel like you're in a full-blown relationship relationship i feel like if you are going to know somebody it's still in the beginner stages but either way i mean even if you're not they still see you just moving on just fine with your life and not even blinking the eye to them and now they're in this energy of okay oh holy crap leo's moving on leo's looking good leo didn't glue up leo's doing much better than when Leo was with me. And even if you were doing just as fine with this person, they see that you don't need them. You don't need them for anything. And it's, okay, let me make my move or, you know, I just miss out. So what else is going on with this connection spirit? Let me move this over to the side. I'm going to put some cards up here. So what else is going on? Tell me more about this connection spirit. Thank you. Five of Wands. There we go with that competition. What else is going on with this uh, Leo and this person? Leo and this person, way too many. Yeah, Leo, you're, you're just doing, I mean, I'm proud. And I think you're proud of yourself because you overcame a lot. I mean, to even get to the six of wands, you had to have gone through this five of wands. So that means you try to put in the effort, you try to put in the work, you try to fight for this connection, even if it wasn't in the sense of, you know, going to arm's length to try and make things work, you still showed up in the connection being true and authentic, right? trying to make the connection work but now it's like okay if this can't work with you then i'm gonna go do my own thing and i feel that this is giving me for some of you hot girl summer hot boy summer just you know what i'm living my best life not looking back not even blinking an eye you know you did me wrong all right all right cool you hurt me and i, and I feel like you still feel the hurt about it because we still have this three of swords up right and i feel like both of you guys are kind of in this energy I'm not going to lie. I do feel, Leo, that you still harbor some residual energy from this connection. But at the end of the day, I don't feel like you're letting it show externally. And also, too, you're getting accolades. You're getting attention. You're getting notice from other people. Right? And Leo loves attention. Not in a negative sense. Don't Please don't take it that way. But, you know, you're somebody to be admired. Who wouldn't love the sun? Right? That's your representation is the sun. Who wouldn't love the sun? Who wouldn't love somebody with the Leo energy? I mean, you guys are the pack leaders. And the fact that you left this connection or they left you and now, you know, you're still moving to the own beat of your drum like nothing has stopped you, despite how you may feel internally, I mean, that's something to be praised. And if you aren't out and about dating and getting the praise yet, oh, you are mid-month to the end of the month. 
even going into June, because I do see this um, with the Six of Wands, all these reds and oranges, which is giving me summertime. So you really may be having and living your best life this summer, honestly. I mean, honestly. And all this person can do is sit back and watch. And they're probably watching you on social media. Even we, even though we don't have a page of swords card here, that three of cups is just kind of giving me that, you know, gathering energy like, you know, on social media. And, you know, and then the six of wands, the attention that you're getting. So this person is keeping an eye out on you and watching you go, watching you succeed, watching you get the praise, seeing people comment, commenting under your post. Or even if you don't have social media at all, this person just knows that you're doing fine without them, that you don't need them and that you never need them. Now we got the Five of Pentacles on the bottom. This person wants to come out of the cold with you. Of course. Why? Because nobody does it like a Leo. And I'm sure this person even tried to go out and mingle and try to find something, you know, after you or after the connection. And they can't find anybody that's replaceable. Like, you, you can't replace a Leo. I'm just being honest. Like, you just can't replace a Leo. A Leo, there are some signs, no shade, that you can kind of replace and keep it moving. But a Leo, oh, baby, once you've had them once, oh, you will, for, you will remember them for a lifetime. I guarantee you that. So let's see, why is this Nine of Swords here? So for the top row up here, we have the Five of Wands in reverse, Knight of Swords in reverse, the Nine of Swords in the upright, clarified by the Queen of Pentacles and the Knight of Wands, Hangman in reverse, and the Nine of Cups. You are the wish fulfillment. You are this person's desire. Mm -hmm. Why is the Knight of Swords here? So let me go ahead and just pull some more on these cards. See, this person's, they're in their head about you. Because not only are you coming out as the side sidebar real quick, Page of Swords is not here. I told you this person was spying on you. I told you. Didn't, didn't take a rocket science to put this Three of Cups and the Six of Wands together. Now we got the Page of Swords. Um, but yeah, I mean, not only are you coming out as the Six of Wands, but now you're the Queen of Pentacles as well. So not only are you getting the praise, the accolades, the attention, but you, this person knows you're stable. This person knows you got your shit together. This person knows that you know how to be stable, reliable. You know how to make your money. You look good. You smell good. You need for nothing. You need nobody, right? The Queen of Pentacles out of all the queens, when we talking about a boss chick, a boss guy, you know, you know how to make things move. You know how to snap your fingers and make things appear in the material world. You want something, you go get it. You want something, you go buy it. No questions asked. Oh, that's you, Leo. Queen of Pentacles. And now because of their anxieties of, damn, I messed this up. Dang. Now they want to be the Knight of Wands, wanting to rush in. But I don't like the Knight of Wands because that Knight of Wands, Knight of Wands energy is still flighty. They have, a, they have their sights set on the goal. And that's all they can think about. I need Leo back. I want Leo back. But when they get in and get Leo back and come to this Queen of Wands, here we go with the Magician in Reverse. The same BS. You know? And the fact that there's not a single king here. And we got two more cards to clarify, so we'll see. Why is the Five of Wands here in Reverse? But there's not a single king here. But we got one, two, three, four. We got in between... Two pages and two knights, and we got a queen of pentacles. I mean, there's still nothing that this person can genuinely offer you that's deserving of your, your time and your worth and your value. The lovers in reverse, though. See, this person may have had you in a third party situation. This person could have had, you know, you in another option. And if, even if it wasn't, this person could have just been, again, selfishly focusing on their own needs and what they wanted. And not really given to this. But that five of wands and the lovers. But this person feels a strong attachment to you. And that makes sense why they're in their head and stuck. Why is this nine of cups here, spirit? Why is this nine of cups here? It makes sense why they're in their head and stuck. But I don't see any development. I don't see any growth out of this person. I don't see any evolution. Any change, right? But we want that new beginning, ace of wands. Don't we? We want that new beginning. But again, two of wands on the bottom of the deck. Lack of planning or not planning at all. So this person wants you. Knight of wands. They have their sights set on you. They have their sights set on rushing back into your life. But there's no stable plan. 
And then even on top of that with this three of wands in reverse, there's no longevity to this, to them coming back. It's like they come back, but no change behavior. That's a no mas. No. Right? And then we got the Knight of Swords, the Page of Swords. So at this current moment, I don't feel like they're verbalizing anything to you, but they're watching you. And because they don't have full information on what you're doing, they just see the accolades, but they don't know the full details. They're assuming things. They're filling in the blanks in their own head of, oh, Leo's out to lunch. Oh, there's probably guys there or girls there that they probably talking to because Leo's looking good and who wouldn't want Leo? You know, it's things like that. Just very juvenile, immature. And this person was, it, Leo, if I could be honest, for you for, honest with you for a brief second, this person was not on your level to begin with. And I feel like for some of you, you wanted to give this person the benefit of the doubt and really see how things could evolve and develop. And maybe even at the beginning, this person didn't even come off juvenile or immature. This person may have came off as somebody who could be, you know, stable or who could really be what you wanted. Because even though the magician is in reverse, this magician can show many different faces. But with it being in reverse, it's faces to get what, they're, what they want, right? So this person with the magician in reverse could have showed up like an emperor or empress or could have shown up like a queen or king of pentacles. But really, the entire time, they were a page or a knight. And I feel like because they may have show, showed you one face or one facet of them, you wanted to give it a chance. You wanted to see how this can go. Even with the nine of, nine of cups right there, maybe you even thought, well, maybe, you know, this person just needs to grow a little bit, you know, give it a little time. And still, this person never changed because they never intended to, because they were never in this energy to begin with. This energy was always low vibrational and lower than you. And you see that now. Six of wands, three of cups. You see that now. And then we have the hangman and the page of cups here in reverse. So now they have this clarity, this enlightenment of, oh crap, I did Leo a certain way, I shouldn't have. But with the page of cups in reverse, they're not, they're not speaking about it. It's like they had this, I don't want to say awakening, but they had this shift in perspective. Now they understand what they did. Now they understand what they lost. And they probably now understand this after going out and trying to see what else is out there. Grass is not green on the other side, of course. And now it's like, damn, I want my Leo. I got these feelings and emotions for Leo, but I'm still a page. But they want you back. We have the Nine of Pentacles, excuse me, the Nine of Cups and the Ace of Wands here. They want a new passion to begin with you, but it's just passion. And for some of you, this could have been a sex-based relationship with this Knight of Wands and the Ace of Wands and the Magician and with the Six of Wands here. This person might have just wanted to conquer you, wanted to come in and out, rushing in and out of your life. And this may have been an on and off cycle for some of you. But even if this wasn't like a sex-based hookup hook relationship, this person just wants a new beginning with you. They see you as their wish fulfillment. But once they get their wish, then what? Because again, lack of planning, lack of longevity. And then underneath this three of wands, we got the knight of pentacles in reverse. So this, this person isn't planning to bring any stability or any reliability at all. So we go back to our initial card. Reciprocity, right? Adjustments are being made. No, adjustments needed to be made and they weren't. So now because this person couldn't give to you because they were never in that same type of high vibrational level that you were, now you've moved on and now they want you back. So Leo, I'm going to leave you at that and leave you with this message. You're looking good. Don't let nobody stop your shine. If and when this person comes back for some of you, and I say some of you, that's on you to really decide if this person can really reciprocate, really reciprocate with you on the level that you need. Thank you.